The movie begins when a policeman appears at the door. He says that he is looking for someone who is 15 years old. The man on the door calls the policeman in. He is Eric and likes to make jokes. He hands over the pie he baked to Amanda. A few friends are already in the house for Thanksgiving dinner. Jess is the young daughter of Thomas, wearing a casual dress compared to the other guests. Kathleen taunts her for not making an effort for dinner, which irritates Jess, as she likes to be casual. Jess does not like her in the house, but she has to bear it now. At the same time, Thomas comes and joins everyone at the table. He owns a store, which he never opens on Black Friday. Thomas's new fiance and Jess's future stepmother suggested they should give away store items on Black Friday night, so they are keeping the store open. At the same time, Amanda brings the turkey to the table and calls Mitch to carve the turkey. He shares that he won't be with them for dinner because he must leave for the store. On the other hand, a huge crowd walks towards the store. They are fighting for the front row as the store will be open in 10 minutes. Black Friday deals have attracted a lot of people. The manager sees the crowd and thinks that those people are just idiots. Jess sits with Bobby while Jess is sad that Kathleen has taken up her mom's place. Her father moved into the house he bought from Kathleen. Soon after, she moved in too, and now they are engaged. At the same time, Jess and Bobby's friends honk the car outside to signal their arrival. They plan to watch a movie together. They all sit in the car and make nice jokes. Suddenly, they stop by Jess's father's store. One of them has to buy a phone. All others agree to go in and buy whatever they have in five minutes. Everyone rushes towards the store while a fan stops Bobby to talk to him. At the same time, Ryan sees Jess standing alone and invites her to the party at his house. She refuses, but he keeps insisting. At the same time, Bobby steals her from Ryan angrily. Amanda brings Thanksgiving dinner for her husband, who is the manager. She came with Eric, and they were seriously worried about seeing a charged crowd. On the other hand, Jess and her friends enter the store. But the people outside don't know who they are and get so angry that they get in before them. Jess and her friends reach the back of the store and enter the central area. The crowd outside sees them playing with the things of their choice. The manager asks security to lock the door while the other officer announces that the store will open in 10 minutes. The manager could not control the crowd and it reached the main glass door of the store. Jess's friend Scuba sees the people banging on the glass door and orders the security to open the door. The other security officer flees the scene, seeing the dangerous situation. Suddenly, the glass cracks and a crowd runs inside, passing over the man appointed to security. They throw Amanda on the floor. At the same time, Evan begins filming the situation. People push each other and fight to pick the free item from the store. Security cameras recorded the event. Suddenly, Bobby sees that the security person is still alive and crawls towards him to save him, but someone crushes his hand and it twists. While a woman bangs the trolley on Amanda and kills her, suddenly, Eris pulls the trigger to stop people. A year passes and someone watches Evan's video on the laptop. While a news reporter takes the interview with the victim's family about last year's incident, Amanda's husband's thoughts about not having enough security personnel before that day that caused havoc that day. Bobby was a baseball star. After his hand injury, he became unfit for the game. Amanda's husband tells the reporter that the store owner claims they have no CCTV footage of that day, which is a lie. The scene shifts when two policemen stop by the restaurant of a woman named Lizzie. She killed Amanda in the store by banging the trolley into her. The sheriff shows her the mask that most people use in the city. On the other hand, someone tags Jess and all her friends in the video Evan posted last year of the incident at the store every day. They don't know who he is, but when Jess blames Evan for posting that video online, he gets angry as he says he never posted it. Jess has to shoot a family commercial with her father Thomas that day, where she has to give a speech. Suddenly Thomas shouts that someone ruined the cabin prepared for the commercial. Thomas wants to shoot the commercial for the store's publicity. He ignores what happened last year and that angers Jess. On the other hand, Bobby ghosted Jess. Hence, Ryan is happy that Jess is going out with him. Ryan's friend Jacob distributes the pamphlets for the party at his house. He gives it to Jess and her friends at Lizzie's restaurant, but they refuse to come as he is charging $25 to come. Suddenly, they receive a picture message where everyone's name is written on a dinner table. Soon, Ryan joins them too and tells them he has passed for the game for everyone. Jess notices that a man in a mask is staring at her. 
She shifts her gaze, and the man disappears the next moment. Someone watched Lizzie and Reitmart's video last year. It's late, and Lizzie is closing the restaurant when she watches the mask at the counter. As she throws it in the bin, someone attacks her. The attacker bangs her head into the cold storage. It injures her face and fingers. She runs, locks herself in a room, and tries to unlock the phone for help. But she could not open it as her fingers were injured. She ran outside and could not find the keys to her car. Suddenly, someone starts the car behind her and kills her. The killer hangs her lower torso on the board of Wright Mart. Evan enters the college, and they receive the picture of the lady killed last night hanging from the right. Jess talks to her father and tells her he will appoint additional security for all of them. The police call Jess and her friends at the police station and ask them to identify the murdered lady, but they don't know her. On her way out of the station, Jess meets Bobby. He apologizes to her for ghosting her all year. She asks for his help to find the CCTV videos of that night stored on her father's computer. Also, Bobby is going into rehab, so he will be able to play soon. As they are about to say goodbye, Ryan arrives. Bobby gets annoyed to see him, but he leaves with Jess and goes inside the police station. The security guard who fled Wright Mart knows that he has a life threat, so he is leaving for Cuba tonight. Suddenly, he could not see the passport that he had kept on the table. He looks around and finds the mask on the table. Someone attacks him with an axe and then removes his head from his torso. The killer packs his head and sets it on the table with his name tag. The killer sends the photo to Jess and her friends. The police know that the killer is smart and he leaves no mark behind. On the other hand, Jess watches her father's computer for the CCTV and sees Ryan meeting a security person at the mall. She records it on her DVD. Suddenly, her father arrived and he apologized for ignoring her after he got engaged to Kathleen. Bobby and Jess print the pictures of the day of the incident from the video Jess took from her father's computer. Eric says that Ryan never mentioned he knew the security man who died that day. Eric tells them to be careful about Ryan. Evan reads the essay that Jacob wrote for him, but he copied it from the teacher's blog, so he gets embarrassed. They all sit together and think about who could be the murderer. They suspect everyone, including Ryan, Bobby, and Mitch. Ryan calls Jess, but she does not pick up. The trainer is training at the gym. Suddenly, a girl calls her from the back door. He follows her. The man sits aside and watches her jump. The killer kills the man and then inserts the knives below the jumping area and kills the girl, too. The police at the investigation site advise Jess to stay home. She waits for Evan and his girlfriend to return from the game because she wants to go home with them. She texts them after waiting, but no one replies. Someone attacks Evan and Gabby in the corridor. Jess starts looking for them everywhere. She finds Gabby's phone in a cart. As she gets up after picking up the phone, the masked man attacks her with an ax. He dodges the attacker and hides. The masked man opens the room to search for her, but she mingles herself among the mannequins. Suddenly, she tries to get the knife, and a spray bottle falls. She sprays on the masked man's face and runs out. Unfortunately, she could not get helpful information to tell the police about the killer. At the same time, Ryan and Bobby arrive there. Bobby gets angry to see him and asks about Ryan's relationship with the security at the nightmare. They begin a fist fight, and Jess tells them they don't want to see either of them. Yulia's father comes and gets her in the car to take her to Florida. While Scuba gets Jess to Jacob's party because he knows they are not safe anywhere, McCarty gives a gun to Scuba, and Jess refuses to take any weapons. On their way home, Scuba talks to Yulia about getting ready for Florida. Suddenly, the masked man kills the guard in her room. Yulia calls her dad, but he does not reply. She walks into the house discreetly to find him. Her father appears, and then he goes downstairs, where the guard is lying dead. Suddenly, the masked killer kills him too. Yulia gets on call with Scuba again, and the masked killer inserts the pins in Yulia's ears. Jess and Scuba scream and run towards her house to save her. But when Scuba comes before him, he grabs Yulia as a human shield, and Scuba's gun does not work either. The killer runs away, leaving Yulia with an electric saw. She dies. After the incident, Kathleen blamed Jess and her friends for it. Thomas decides he will not open the store this year's Thanksgiving. On the Thanksgiving parade, police bring Thomas's family out on the street as it will be used as bait to attract killers while police will heavily surround the area. The parade goes as planned until Amanda's husband, Mitch, brings a banner to remind her of last year's accident. Suddenly, someone starts an attack on the public. This time, 
the attacker kills any random people wearing a Joker's mask. As Jess and her family sit in the car along with Scuba to flee from the site, the masked man thunders a bomb in the crowd. He throws an arrow into Thomas, Jess, and Scuba's bodies, and they fall unconscious. A masked man drives the car away. He prepared a syrup and brushed Kathleen's body with it. Then he throws salt, pepper, and coriander over her and turns on the heat. He forgets the mask near the oven, which burns it a little. As he comes back, Jess and Julia hide. The masked killer searched for them and could not find them anywhere. Kathleen escaped upstairs and saw a girl in the fridge. She takes the bottle and shuts it again. Kathleen hides behind the door while the masked man guesses it and hits her with a pointed shovel. She runs outside to save her life, but he throws the pointed shovel into her body and packs her in the oven. He burns her alive. The media shows public outrage while the police receive another picture of the masked killer. Jess sits at the dining table with her father and Scuba. Their hands are tied, and the police arrive in the building. The killer starts broadcasting with everyone sitting at the table. He serves Kathleen's burned body at the table, puts his hammer on Evan's head, and bangs it many times on his head. He killed Evan for shooting the viral video at Wright Mart. Jess opens her tied hand, and killer chops a piece of Kathleen's body to serve it to them. Suddenly, Scuba opens his hand and attacks the killer. Jess runs after. The killer dodges and runs away. Jess comes back to the road and sees Eric's dead body on the road. She gets his gun and enters the killer's house. She is so surprised that the killer is Bobby. Eric tries to kill him, but he runs away. The police started a search operation while Thomas, Scuba, and Gabby were in the hospital. Eric beats Jess in the police station. She needs to sit down before she goes home. Eric goes out to let her sit and enter the room again. Suddenly, Jess realizes that Eric is wearing the same shoes as Killer. She has finally recognized Eric. Eric sees in her eyes that she knows who he is and shuts the door. Eric says that he will show the public that Bobby is the real killer, and he uses Jess as his source of information to do all this. He says that on the night of the incident, he lost Amanda. They were in love, and she was going to leave Mitch. He is taking revenge for her. Suddenly, Jess shows that she is live on social media and shows Eric's face on video. Eric angrily throws his axe at her, but Bobby saves her. They run and hide outside the room while Jessica starts the gas, inflating the giant duck balloon. They get in the car, but Eric binds it with the hook so they won't leave. After the balloon inflates, Jessica shoots a bullet at it. Eric was standing near the balloon. The bullet starts to fire, and it burns Eric down. Jess and Bobby flee in the truck. After that, the police declare that everything is incinerated, and Jess comes home with Ryan. Jess had nightmares of the killer afterwards. The movie ends here.